Hello, welcome back for color subtraction today. You have before you on the screen five folders and a little bit of a glare from my lamp that I'm trying to overcome for you. But as you can see in the words, at the top edge is a black folder. On the left in the middle is yellow and bottom left red. Then on the right, green and blue. And what we're going to be looking at today is how pigments absorb and reflect colors. Right now, I'm using a white light. White light had every color in it, so you see every color pretty much as it is. As we go through, we're going to look at having what available colors are there when you see things. Remember, real quick in review, black is technically no light reflected. If you're seeing the color black, it's absorbing everything and returning to your eyes nothing. Green, blue, and red are all three primary colors of light. So they're reflecting those single colors of light of either red, green, or blue and absorbing every other available color. Finally, yellow. Yellow is a secondary light color. So yellow is reflecting both green and red, the two colors that make it up. So let's see what happens as we change colors. Watch for the best effect, the red folder, but remember the only choices we have are red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, magenta, and black. We're gonna change the light to red. In red light, you see the red folder is still red and more pronounced so. The blue folder has become very much not blue. In fact, it's pretty much black. Technically speaking, the green folder is also black. It's a little harder to see. It kind of looks red. It's not a perfect green is the problem there. The yellow folder has turned red, much like the folder below it, because yellow can reflect red. So you see red being reflected, but there's no green available. If we switch to green light, now the yellow and the green folder look almost identical. As the yellow reflects the green, the only color available, and the green reflects the green also. The red and the blue at the bottom have both become pretty much black because red and blue don't reflect green, they absorb green. And guys, if you haven't caught on, the black folder should always be black. It's absorbing, absorbing all the colors. Switching to blue light, now you see the red and yellow folders are very, very much black. The green folder is finally looking black, and our blue folder down there reflecting blue light and looking quite blue itself. Now let's go to those secondary colors. As we go through the secondaries, there's two colors of light available. So here with cyan, in cyan light, there is a mixture of blue and red. So both our blue and red folders are showing up nicely. The yellow folder is showing up as red as well because yellow can reflect red, but it's absorbing the blue. The green folder, which didn't play really well with red light last time either, looks a little red again. It's not a perfect green, guys. Remember, without green light, that green folder should look black. In cyan light, you see the red folder turn completely black. Yellow and green, again, reflecting the available green light and blue reflecting blue. Our last secondary color is yellow, that combination of red and green. You'll notice the blue folder has become black because blue doesn't reflect red or green. The green is mostly green. The yellow is actually yellow. It's yellow light after all. And the red is red. So as we look at the idea, here's white light again, of color subtraction or reflection, the folders will only affect that which is available, reflect that which is available, and absorb the colors they don't reflect. Thanks for watching.